Hi, my name is Tessa and I'm in my third year of industrial engineering at U of T. Today we're going to talk about the personal profile, which is part of the faculty specific stage of your engineering application. I'm going to show you what it is, share some sample questions, and show you how the online tool works. The personal profile part of your engineering application will take about 30 minutes and it's mandatory. That means that if you don't do it, we can't process your application. It just really gives us a chance to get to know you better. So let's learn how to do this. It's actually really simple. To create your personal profile, you will need a laptop or desktop computer with a webcam and a microphone, and a browser with Adobe Flash installed. You will also need a stable internet connection, a pen and paper, and a quiet location. And that's it! We do not expect you to study or prepare your responses in advance. In fact, we don't want you to. We just want you to be yourself. To create your personal profile, log into the engineering applicant portal at uft.me slash myportal. In order to log into the portal, you will first need to enable your join ID at uft.me slash enable using the instructions in the acknowledgement letter we sent you. On the main page of the engineering applicant portal, go to the student profile form and select personal profile. Then on the personal profile page, use this link to access the online tool. You can complete the other components of your student profile form after you finish your personal profile, or you can log back in and fill it out anytime before your deadline. You'll create your personal profile here. The site is completely private and your responses will never be posted online or shared. The only people who will see your profile are those assessing your application on behalf of the U of T Engineering Admissions Committee. The personal profile consists of three questions generated at random. The questions I'm going to show you are test questions. The questions you answer will be different. So let's try this out. First, you will need to test your computer to make sure the webcam and microphone work. Once your webcam and mic are ready, you will watch an introductory video and run through some practice questions. Then you'll answer the real questions. Let's talk about the three questions that make up your personal profile. Questions one and three require a video response. Question 2 requires a written response that is 250 words or less. Once you commit to recording your first response, you must complete your second and third responses as well. So let's try this out so you can see how it works. Please, tell us about the time that you faced a difficult challenge. What did you do to overcome this challenge? After watching each video question, you'll have up to two minutes to think about your answer and a set amount of time to record your answer. So that'll be two minutes for question one and three minutes for question three. Question 2 has no video component. You will have 10 minutes to type a written response that is 250 words or less. The interface tracks your word count in real time and allows you to edit your response before submitting it. Once you've completed your responses, they are final. You can't do them again. Thanks for watching. We're looking forward to seeing your profile. For more info on U of T Engineering and the application process, visit our website at discover.engineering.utoronto.ca.